Hey, hello. Whoops, sorry, my camera kind of went all funky. Um, there's been a lot of, well, in North Dakota right now, I shouldn't probably, let's see, it's, okay. Um, in North Dakota right now, it is 45, and it's been, well, it's October, watch my dinger, <laughs> and it has been raining for two weeks, <laughs> which is what got me thinking. There's a lot of crabby people. We like the sun. And we love the fall in, the North, in North Dakota. And so this obviously doesn't pertain to everybody in this season if you're not in the United States, if so on and so forth. But I just started thinking, <clears throat> you don't need more of what you're on or what your vice is or what your crutch is. And so let me say more. When we get into more stressful seasons, when um, the weather is less than awesome, uh, in North Dakota it is less than awesome a lot, we have a choice to live here. Um, fall and winter are definitely cooler, but you need to create your own happy and your own love. <laughs> and so people are talking about ADHD meds maybe aren't working as well. So, ah, uh, you know, maybe we just need to up them or I'm feeling kind of sad and really tired and lonely, um, maybe I need to make an appointment with my doctor and up them. Or the freeze hasn't happened quite yet, um, allergies are in full force, looks like we'll have two to four more weeks, maybe we up them. And I would give you a strong reason. <laughs> to see it differently. See it as a warning sign or a tap or a well, however you think about it. Um, reminder that you need to do something different and you need to take full responsibility for yourself and for your health. It's not the freaking weather's fault. It's not because school is in session. It's not because it's cold out that you're not exercising. It's because you choose not to. And so as stress accumulates, our spine shuts down and then our brain locks down and we are in fight or flight mode. In fight or flight mode, do we have energy? No. Do we sleep well? I mean, we're still tired, but we still don't sleep well. No. Are we happy? No. In fight or flight mode, do we poop? No. In fight or flight mode, um, do we breathe? No. In fight or flight mode, do we relax? No. Everything is shut down on the relaxation and parasympathetic is what it's called, called of the nervous system. It's shut down. It's in protected state. Taking more of your med, relying more on your crutch, continuing to use your vice over and over and over again when you know in your heart and soul that's not the problem will bring you further away from the solution. So first things first, know that your body doesn't need more of that. As soon as you know that your body doesn't need more of that, you're going to start to be in solution mode. Your body needs more of who you are. Your body needs more good shit, good stuff, good food. It needs more good movement. For women, we need connection. We need exercise too. Um, we need movement way more than we think we do, but we need connection. Men need more physical, more physical movement, um, more lifting, more running, more ways to get that heart pounding, to get the brain to change. So we don't need more Zoloft. We don't need more Allegra. We don't need more Miralax. Um, we don't need really anything else outside of our body because we have everything we need. You need to take full responsibility for your current situation being because of your past choices. And when you get there and it's not laden in guilt or shame or all those icky emotions that create other challenges in us, you're going to be able to find the solution. There are many solutions. <laughs> it's not just one. You need to move, you need to 
eat living stuff. You need to connect with friends and other women and your spouse and your kids. You need to get rest. You need to be adjusted because the, it's the only single most important thing that your brain needs to fire because if your spine is locked, your brain doesn't fire. If your brain doesn't fire, it cannot even sense your external environment appropriately. It's like it's muted or it's like you have foggy sunglasses on. <clears throat> Take responsibility. Start looking into why you feel like you need more. Why you're relying on your crutch or more medication or why you feel like another doctor's appointment is in the works because yep it's freaking gloomy out mm -hmm. yep school started and you're sitting your butt in your chair all day yep school started and then practice is going and then we sit our then we sit in bleachers and there's stress of course there's stress there's stress all year it's no different except for how you're handling it so take responsibility and know that there's a million solutions one of which I don't recommend relying more on your crutch. That is incongruent for you and if you ask your soul that question, your heart that question, it will say the same. It just knows no different. Your brain is patterned to believe what it's always done until you're given another question or another reason to believe something else. So it's all in you. You just gotta go get it and realize that you're not gonna settle for for this. Alright. Bye. That's weird.